Nevada are still being rocked by aftershocks following today's big earthquake. Los Angeles was worst hit. At least six people died. Hundreds of others were injured and more still suffered heart attacks. The quake was centered to the west of the San Andreas fault line which runs the length of California. It wasn't the great quake Southern Californians have long worried about, but when the earth shook this morning, it was a terrifying taste of things to come. The first and worst jolt struck at 742. At that moment, an Australian TV network was taping a program here. Oh, there's an earthquake here in Los Angeles. My goodness, a live earthquake right here. My God. And I don't think anything's going to fall on me. I'm watching the lights. Are we still there? I think we've lost you, Clark. The damage was immediate and widespread. The worst of it seemed to be in and around Whittier, 15 miles from downtown Los Angeles, and near the apparent center of the quake. Buildings crumbled, windows shattered, walls collapsed. On the campus of California State University, a student was killed by a falling wall. A construction tunnel in the mountains just north of the city collapsed, killing a worker inside. A third victim died of a heart attack. Authorities reported dozens of people injured by falling debris. Most of the injuries were minor, but for those who were only shaken up, the fear was very real. Yeah, it was pretty rough, I tell you. It scares you. Nerves rattled by the first quake were rattled time and again by aftershocks. There were at least 15 by midday, several as strong as three and four on the Richter scale. One of the stronger aftershocks hit yet. as a local TV station was on the air live. And here's another aftershock or another earthquake uh, happening right now. I'm not sure which. I'm going to get under this desk. I apologize for the theatrics. Okay. And as the ground kept trembling, buildings were evacuated. Elderly patients were moved out of this nursing home not far from the quake center. The quake also shook up Southern California's freeways. Cracks and other damage forced the closure of several of them. Airports were closed too, briefly. Shattered windows in the control tower at Burbank, just north of LA, caused it to shut down for a time. L.A. International was also closed for a few minutes. This afternoon, man finished what nature began. Damaged buildings were coming down. Phone service and power that went out in some areas were coming back. The pall of smoke that hung over the city all morning began to clear as fires caused by gas leaks were put out. Scientists say there's a 1 in 20 chance of a bigger quake in the next few days. Not great, but after today, not the kind of odds Southern Californians might appreciate. The shock of Friday's big earthquake has killed at least one person and injured 50. Today's tremor was the most violent of many to hit the city since the original quake killed six people and caused damage estimated at $150 million. It was by far the strongest of more than 100 aftershocks that have rattled Southern California since Thursday's earthquake. This one registered 5.5 on the Richter scale six times less powerful than the main event three days ago, but strong enough to cause substantial new damage to buildings and private homes. At the San Gabriel Civic Auditorium, a bell tower fell through a portico roof. This video camera was rolling when the aftershock hit at one minute before four o'clock this morning. The tremor lasted for 10 to 15 seconds and terrified thousands of residents who rushed into the streets in the pre-dawn darkness, afraid to remain in their homes. Our chimney fell and there are cracks in the wall and everything. It is awesome. In Pasadena, store windows were shattered, and in Whittier, chimneys toppled off rooftops, brick walls were knocked down, and water mains ruptured. This home was damaged so badly, the front porch had to be pulled down, and the occupants forced to evacuate. I feel fortunate, yes, but I have no place to go now. This is my home. One fatal heart attack was blamed on today's earthquake and more than 60 people were injured. So far, no estimate of this morning's damage, but authorities now say losses from last Thursday's earthquake have surpassed $100 million. Thousands of people went to church this morning to ask God to protect them and their families from harm. Many of the services were held outdoors because of the fear of even more aftershocks, which scientists say are likely to continue.